Is sitting too much ruining your posture forever? No. No, it is not. Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and today we're going to tell you how you can overcome sitting. So if you are someone that has a desk job or just has to travel a lot and just sits all the time and just feel like you're getting stiffer and more horrible and achy breaky um, and your back's always stiff and your hips are always tight and all that kind of stuff, what you do when you're not sitting is going to be more beneficial if you actually put a bit of intensity into it and actually pay attention to what you're actually doing whenever you're not sitting. And all you need to do is add a little bit of a morning routine into your day and that will be enough to actually counteract your sitting for long periods of time. Here's the thing. Many people that have manual labor type jobs or um, very active style jobs, even personal trainers are stiff as well. So it's not just focused on you. You're not just unlucky. Everybody's doing everything wrong. So take that as a positive. The other massive barrier that I see is the movement type gurus that really um, seem to make it like a massive challenge that you have to get up at 4 a.m. and do your weird kind of rituals in order to actually start to move. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Modern society has lost its ability to freely articulate world and space. Our dependence on chairs has taken away our movement nutrients. Which is fine if that is your jam and something that interests you, but I would probably hazard a guess to say that 81.3% of the population aren't that interested in trying to take their movement practice that far. So um, you can do things a lot easier than that. So don't set the bar too high. You're not going to wake up at 4 a.m. and start sticking to some kind of crazy three hour routine. You want to make sure it's something that you consistently stick to easily under no pressure. If I'm telling you it is that easy peasy, I'm sure you are a little bit intrigued. So all you gotta do whenever you wake up first thing in the morning, at whatever time suits you, you work on your own time. Remember, all we're trying to do is counteract, hello camera two, this position here. So Jenny exaggerates her lower back rounding a bit more. You're just trying to counteract that. So how can we do that? We're going to do the complete opposite. So if Jenny hops herself up, what you're going to do first thing in the morning, as soon as you wake up, is you're going to go to your stairs or go to your dining room chair, or if you have a box, that's handy enough as well, even your sofa. All you're going to do is stick your leg up on your box. And then from there, you're going to sink down as deep into your hips as you can. So you're extending the back leg, so you're getting the glute working here. Squeeze your bum a little bit on and off. You don't need to hold it, just squeeze it on and off. Then you're trying to drive the knee as far over the toe as you can here. So we're even working on the ankles, working on our hip flexion in this position. So this is getting away from that seated position. So if Jenny just brings yourself back up to parallel, when you're seated, this is really as high as your leg's gonna go. So now you're trying to go on the flip side of that and exaggerate that flexion, get deep in your hips as much as you can. Same with the back leg, you're opening up the back leg. And then Jenny can start to correct the back position here and really lift her chest up as much as she can while she's there as well. A nice secret to getting more range is to do some kind of upper back rotation. So if she puts her hand down and whatever it is she has, she can rotate to one side, get a nice big stretch, take a deep breath into her ribs. And then as she breathes out, she tries to go further and then she can rotate on the other side as well. One side will feel a bit funky and you might feel like you fall over, so just make sure you've got your hand down. Take that deep breath in, try and rotate that wee bit further. Imagine you're wringing yourself out like a wet towel. Then you swap sides. So you just do the other hips. The other hips, the other side, the other legs. And then again, sink deep into those hips, counteract that seated position, rock yourself back and forth. Don't be afraid to have a little bit of a wiggle. Just don't do anything like mad jerky type really fast and see, oh, wonder what happens if we do this. Just sink yourself down, especially first thing in the morning. Everyone's a little stiffer first thing in the morning. So give yourself just a few rocks back and forth and you'll notice you start to sink down a little bit deeper over time. And just remember those twists and those breaths and really expand the ribs. So that's gonna put your shoulders in a better position. It's gonna make your glutes feel a lot better. It's going to make your hips feel a lot stronger as well and you can just start to rock back and forth so you can start to play with this position as well just don't put yourself under any pressure to do anything fancy this is all you're looking to do sink deep into the hips and just rotate through your upper back okay five minutes absolutely plenty you just change sides um, a few times and you'll notice after a few reps of each side you'll just start to feel like you're sinking down lower and you'll feel like your upper back is moving a lot better when you start to implement this first thing in the morning every morning you're going to feel 
so much better. You're going to move so much better throughout the day. In fact, Jenny could probably just skip off screen right now if she wanted to. Couldn't she, Jenny? Look at that, a spring in her step. Do you not want a spring in your step? Of course you do. Remember that the principles that you're using to offset the constant sitting all day is to have full hip extension, full hip flexion, and also thoracic extension. Keep those baseline principles, and over time you can start to add in your own kind of things and other drills that you will see um, on YouTube or anything that you just fancy doing. You can start to add in over time. Just make sure that you keep it nice and simple at the start and build that consistency. Oh, I never told her to stop skipping. Jay! Stop! Jay! Ha, 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 ha.